Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread uh, just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, uh, clarified by the Queen of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It feels like a payday. For some of you, literally, for others of you, uh, something you've been fighting for is finally coming your way. I do see you either fighting for it over the weekend or perhaps prior to this. Because here comes the Knight of Pentacles, right? The Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, by the way, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I think in this case, uh, this is you fighting for money <laughs> or a job, or if you run your own business, this is you fighting for a contract. This is you fighting for a promotion. Right? Something among those lines. That's what's on the line, right? The Knight of Pentacles is on the line. We do have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Cups, right? And uh, we also have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Both the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands could be interpreted as cards of competition or fighting for something, standing your ground, proving something, making sure you get what you deserve, making sure you get what you want, making sure something goes your way, something that belongs to you. And I think you're going to win, because uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck. It is a card of starting a cycle. So if you've been fighting for, I don't know, government assistance, you're getting it. If you've been fighting for a job or promotion or a contract, you're still getting it. The only uh, red flag I have for you, um, Water Science, is don't take this spread for granted. Don't just relax and say, oh yeah, I got it, it's mine, I can just sit down on the couch and watch Netflix. No, keep doing what you're doing, and only then what you've been fighting for, it will be yours. Alright? Cool. Cancer, we have uh, the Hangman, uh, we have the Eight of Cups, then we have the Fool, clarified by the Magician, and we have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Aries, uh, Gemini, or Virgo. But uh, you don't necessarily have to be dealing with anybody, okay? Because uh, you see in every single card, there's just one person, you know. We have different cards in tarot deck, right? We've got cards with people, multiple people. We've got cards with animals, deities, you name it. We got it. <laughs> the world card does feature a person and a couple of animals and other things, right? But uh, if you look at those cards closely, you will notice that there is just one person in every single card, right? You're leaving something behind. You're leaving something behind and you're starting something new, okay? You could be leaving a dead-end job. You could be leaving a job and starting your own business. You could be leaving uh, a relationship, Okay, you're definitely uh, leaving something or someone and you're starting something brand spanking you for yourself. All right. Um, yeah, let's go over it real, real quick. The hangman, the first card I came out, could be a Pisces you're dealing with. But the hangman is a card of stagnation, nothing happening. At the same time, the hangman is a card of um, sacrifice. So perhaps you've been sacrificing for this dead-end job or you've been sacrificing yourself in this relationship. The hangman could also be an epiphany, a light bulb moment. So perhaps you do have a light bulb moment that goes off and you're like, oh, I can do, I can run my own business, right? I have an idea. The Eight of Cups, the next card I came out, you're leaving whatever the hangman is, right? You're definitely leaving. The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending. But the thing about the world card, it's a, it's a happy end card. Right? So this is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a new, better, happier chapter of your life is about to begin because you're leaving. Then we have the full clarified by the magician. So here comes brand spanking new stuff. It could be a new person, <laughs> um, but uh, at the same time, it could just you feeling liberated. It could be you starting your own business, you getting creative ideas. It could be you... Uh, starting a new job that you always wanted, right? The Fool and the Magician are very positive, awesome cards, especially together, right? The Fool is a card of uh, liberation, and it's also a card of taking a leap of faith and feeling good about it, right? The Magician clarifying it is a card of manifestation, and most importantly, it's a card of taking action. And uh, the Fool is also an action-oriented card. All right? Cool. Scorpio, um, we have uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have uh, the Fool, clarified by the Lovers. 
uh, we have the Ten of Cups and Judgment on the bottom of the deck. He could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini or pretty much any Zodiac sign. It's a reconciliation, uh, Scorpio, with somebody from your past. It's a reconciliation. <laughs> Judgment on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Page of Pentacles, the first card I came out is clarified by the Three of Cups. Um, they could uh, reach out to you. And um, I th it kind of looks like tickets to a show. Tickets to a game, concert, movies. I don't know. right? Cause, or it could be a gift. Um, we are right about starting your birthday season. <laughs> so it could be like a very early birthday present from somebody, Scorpio. Right? Um, but uh, the Page of Pentacles is most likely tickets to a, a show or a game or what, what have you. Um, and the Three of Cups, clarifying it, is tickets to that show. Right? The Three of Cups is a card of a reunion, but it is a card of a celebration. Um, it's also a card of, um, you know, <clears throat> just any event, any event, all right? Um, or there could be literally a reunion going on, and perhaps everybody is coming in, and uh, this person will also be uh, in attendance, and uh, whatever the case, I see you guys getting back together, right? We got the Fool, clarified by the Lovers, the Fool could be an Aries, the Lovers could be a Gemini, but the Fool is a card of, you know, when it comes to X spreads, I usually interpret the full as letting go of what happened between the two of you in the past and starting from clean slate. The lovers clarifying it could be a Gemini. You're dealing with the lovers uh, could be a, a choice that you're making to give it another shot. And uh, the lovers could simply be the love of your life. You know, in my opinion, the lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a soulmate card. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers, like I already mentioned, could be the love of your life. Okay? Um, yeah, simple as that, I know. And then we have the Ten of Cups right next to the deck. The Ten of Cups is a card of like a massive celebration. And at the same time, it is a card of family commitment marriage. All right, so this, the two of you are definitely getting back together. All right, cool. Pisces, uh, we have uh, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Three of Swords. We have uh, the King of Swords, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Uh, then we have the Empress, clarified by the World. And we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, this is a reconciliation attempt. Um, I give it a 50-50, Pisces. All right, um, the King of Swords will try to get back together with you, All right? So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The star on the bottom of the deck is an Aquarius card, by the way. But the star is also a card of healing and the wish come true. Um, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Three of Swords, are the first two cards that came out. So um, there was a breakup. There was a broken heart, and it was hard on you. It was tough on them. Um, and here they are. The King of Swords is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles could be um, an excuse to reach out to you, Pisces. They may just simply say, hey, I found this thing in my car or at my place that belongs to you. Do you want it back? And uh, that could be an excuse to restart this conversation. For others of you, they may give you something besides what they found. Something, something else. <laughs> right? And the Page of Pentacles could be absolutely anything. It could be a key to their apartment, key to their place. Uh, it could be uh, a piece of jewelry in a small box. I don't know. It could be paperwork. <laughs> something. That, if they owe you money, they'll pay you back. I don't know. But they will literally, literally give you something. All right, the Empress clarified by the world, that's you, Pisces, right? Not that we ever doubted that. The Empress is an amazing card to have, even if, if it weren't you, but I believe it is you. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck, but this is also a, a card of a person who definitely knows their worth, somebody who is um, nurtured, somebody who takes care of themselves, somebody who is sitting back on their throne and they're very relaxed. All right, so I think you will have a decision to make. And the world, clarifying uh, the Empress, this is what uh, is going to be on your mind. The world is a card of an ending, but it's a happy end card. So you will have to decide what would be the happy end for you, Pisces. Is it going to be back together with this uh, King of Swords, or is it going to be by yourself for now and with somebody else in the future? All right, so yeah, you have a decision to make. All right? And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better 
in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.